What's up, kids? Coming to you live from my disgusting bedroom. If you hear a lot of crunching in this video, it's because I have this massive bag of candy that I got from Costco. Just one of the items in here is this. Little fucking bags of gummy bears. Look at them. Look at it. Mm. Delicious. So anyways, today is going to be, you know, a very mediocre naked tutorial, as most things I do are. I'm just going to show you my basic, everyday, sunset kind of eye. By the way, I know I'm disgusting right now. I literally just woke up from a nap, completely unprepared for making the video, and I'm just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to do it. You guys might as well get to know the real me. Real me is disgusting and unorganized and lazy and fat and frizzy. So yes, today is going to be a makeup tutorial, but I just want to be clear at the beginning of this video. My channel is by no means going to be a beauty channel. I might do makeup tutorials here and there. I might, I'll do unboxings for all my subscription boxes. But aside from that, no, it's going to be a whole slew of everything. I'm a Gemini. I can't stay focused on one thing for too long. And I have ADD and they took my Adderall away. So, gotta love Wisconsin. So let's get started. First things first, trapping the skin with my little travel size origins ginseng uh energy boosting moisturizer i don't even have contacts in you guys yeah everything i have that's like skincare is travel size because i'm poor <laughs> it's actually a really good life hack for poor people samples are the shit especially like on like ulta.com or sometimes on sephora they'll do like those big giveaways like buy this much money and you get to get like a big bag of samples and shit that's where i got most of these i like this one because it smells like oranges i like oranges and i should let you guys know ahead of time i have um combination skin but my cheeks and my nose and especially around my nose is fucking crust I found with my experience that there's not really going to be a primer that's good for combination skin. I mean, there might be. I haven't tried everything. I haven't, you know, I, ba I barely made it dead, to be honest. I'm not, I'm no beauty guru. All right. I have tried some things and I have yet to find a primer that's good for combination skin because either it, it works good on my, on the oily parts of my skin or it works good on the dry parts of my skin. There's never, I haven't had something that works well on both. And somebody you're definitely going to get to know is my best friend, Nicole. Um... She's literally the reason why I live and breathe. I love her so much. I plan on incorporating her a lot in this channel because, you know, she's a big part of my life and I think she should be a big part of yours too. I should take a shot of nerds here and then we're going to get to put makeup on this disgusting face. So back to what I was saying. I can't stay focused on anything for shit. What I usually do for my skin for priming is I'll use two primers. I'll use a silicone based primer on the oily parts of my skin and a more moisturizing primer on the dry spots. So for the oily parts of my face, I'm going to use the uh, Smashbox, a really dirty Smashbox photo finish primer. Another great poor people hack, you guys. Subscription boxes, oh my god. I'm subscribed to... Ipsy, BoxyCharm, and Play by Sephora. And let me tell you something. A lot of the stuff that I have is from those subscription boxes. And they've been stepping up their game recently. Like, they put really nice shit in the bags lately. They put really high-end brands, even sometimes luxury brands. I'm telling you, you can really form a really, really nice makeup collection off of that. And I pay about, like, $40 a month for all three of those subscription boxes and I mean $40 a month for like 15 products honestly that's not bad <laughs> especially if you're someone who really likes makeup and really likes to play with makeup you don't have to subscribe to all of those either you can you know do one or two I would say BoxyCharm is the $21 one and well they, they do full-size products in BoxyCharm so that's why it's more expensive I mean it's a good thing and a bad thing because I like getting full-size products if they're products I like but if they're not then I'm like fuck I have this full-size product of something that I'm not really into and I know I always give them away and stuff. I know that I can do that, but I don't know. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. But as for like sample size, which one is better between Ipsy and Play by Sephora? I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Play by Sephora is better because let me tell you something. Ipsy has been on my shit list lately. They sent me an, an eyeliner a couple months back that was it was a felt tip liner that was completely empty. Like it had it was white. It had no eyeliner in it whatsoever. It was white and bone dry. And then last month they sent me a nail polish that I was all excited to use. I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. We're going to use this nail polish. You know what? I have it. I have it. I thought it was such a pretty color. I was like, this is the best box I've ever gotten. This. Pretty woman nail polish. But look at this. Are you kidding me? This didn't even... 
<laughs> this wasn't even what I meant to show you guys. But what? Come on. Ipsy. Okay, there we go. But look. It's it's glue. It isn't... I, I tried to paint a nail with this. Look, that's... I tried to paint a nail with this, and it's just... It's sticky goo. Like, there's nothing... I can't do anything with this. So yeah, Ipsy's on my shit list right now. And I think Play by Sephora actually gives you more products. I feel like they give you six every month. I could be wrong. Maybe they just do that sometimes, but... I think they give you six every month, and they're, you know, usually high-end products. I didn't tell you guys what I'm using um, as my moisturizing primer. I actually really like this. This is the uh, NYX Hydra Touch Primer. It's, you know, it's very affordable. It's NYX, and it, it's, and it gives you, like, a really cooling sensation, which I like. It makes me feel like I'm a little bit clean and not disgusting for a second. So then after that, we're going to take my gross beauty blender. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me and who are tuning in, yes, ugh. Yes, I do sound weird because I am from Wisconsin. And I didn't think I had a really bad... Ex I didn't think I had a really bad Wisconsin accent until I started to record myself a lot. And I was like, oh, fuck. I literally sound... I feel like I look and sound... Like, I feel like I am... Chris Farley's long lost daughter. I haven't had any issues with foundation lately. It looks like garbage. I don't know. This is the number seven beautifully matte foundation. Um, they just got this at Walgreens, so I was like, I'll fucking try it. Why not? When I first used this, I didn't like it at all. They said that this was the full coverage one, but I didn't think it was full coverage whatsoever. This is, I believe, this is the lightest shade or the second to lightest shade, and it's too dark on me. I think. I forgot. It's been a while since I used this. God, I'm such a fucking bad beauty guru. You're just gonna give her a little squirt. And a little squirt. Ooh, she popped. And I'm gonna mix that with my um, Tad Idol Ultra Wear Lancome Foundation. Now, I've been using this for a long time. This is like $48 per bottle. I still use it because it was $48, but it, it oxidizes like a bitch. So I'm gonna mix my two foundations together. Another thing that you guys can get in our um, subscription boxes that is awesome is brushes, makeup brushes. I get almost all my makeup brushes from um, subscription boxes, except for I did purchase a rose gold or copper collection from Morphe, which has been amazing. So I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. This actually looks really nice today. Like, usually it looks, like, so crumbly around my nose and it, like, won't adhere to my nose. But today it looks alright. I'm mad at her. I'm mad at you. Next we're gonna use my handy dandy tart shape tape. I am in the shade, uh, Fair Neutral. By the way, I haven't told anybody, um, any of the shades of anything I'm using. <laughs> um, in the number seven, I bought the shade Calico. Lancome, I actually got shade match for this too, by the way. And this is, I'm in Ivory 100, or 100 Ivory. I like you guys are probably thinking like, Kelsey, I thought you said you were poor. Why do you have all this high-end shit. And today I'm gonna tell you, well, I have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, whenever, like, when I, I save up money and then I blow it all on makeup, this is, like, what I spend every extra dollar that I have on. I mean, it's really possible to do even if you're not very wealthy. Subscription boxes are seriously so fucking good for that. You don't understand. Now we're just gonna buff that in. We're gonna buff, buff, buff that in. We're gonna buff, buff, buff that in. The fuck are my nerds? Oh. Okay, so next we're gonna contour. Uh, Miss Nikki Tutorials taught me that the NYX High Definition Blush in the shade Taupe is actually really good for contouring, and I, I agree. I love it. And for the contour, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics brush. It is called the 315 Luxe Velvet Soft Focus Sculpting Brush. And I'm going to say this, guys. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not by any means claiming to be an amazing at this. I'm just somebody who loves makeup, loves beauty products, loves playing with makeup, loves buying makeup, loves learning how to do different makeup styles. Like, that's, that's it. That's it. I'm not saying that, you know, you should do all the things I do because you shouldn't because I'm actually pretty gross. Well, no, you can, you can do them. You can do them. They're, I just talk shit about myself. I don't know why I'm contouring before I um, set my face, but um, I think it's because I just forgot. For 
setting I prefer out of everything else. My Cody Airspun. I'm just gonna dip my Dampen Beauty Blender into there. And then we're gonna bake. <laughs> Fucker. I can't ever bake my face without getting powder all over my shirt. Yeah, I'm already like going into my contour. I'm fucking everything up. Fuck! <laughs> I hate this. Okay. While we're waiting for my bake to. Wait for the cake to bake. I'm gonna work on my eyebrows because I can't stand to look at them any longer. Eyebrows are something that I struggle with a great deal. Um, I've posted like pictures on Reddit, on the subreddit, uh, makeup addiction. And the one thing that they always come for me for is my eyebrows. They're like, it's too boxy. You're using too much product. And I'm just like, bitch. You know what? You try to do my fucking eyebrows. There's constructive criticism, but like... No, it's, it is, I mean, that's all it is, is constructive criticism. I'm just being a baby about it. Where the fuck is my, precisely my brow? Um, yeah, I was late for work today. I didn't wake up, or I didn't get to work till 5.51, and I had to open the store at 6. For real, I hate being late for work so much. And every time, you know, like, the times where you don't wake up to an alarm, it's, like, confusing and disorienting. My theory on it is, like... I feel like I was abducted by aliens and they were just late dropping me off. That's just how I feel. There she is. So for eyebrows I use two different products for it. I use the Precisely My Brow in shade 3. The reason why I use two products is because this one is a little bit um, too warm tone for me. I have really ashy brown hair. Yeah, this one, this, but this I'll still use for a majority of my brow. But the front of my brow, um, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. We're just gonna spool them, give them a little brush. I hate my eyebrows so much, you guys. Like, I would like them if they both looked like this one, but no, I have this bitch. This fucking bitch. This one is like, this one, ha the hairs are more sparse, but it's a thicker brow. This one, all the hairs are a lot more compact, but it's in a thinner brow. And these hairs are a motherfucker. These hairs grow in every direction. And this arch is more pointy than this one. This one looks pretty pointy on camera, I can tell. But, and I do have pointy arches. <laughs> I'll tell you a story about how I discovered that at some point in my channel. It's great. Have you ever had a school literally make you retake your picture um, because it was too ugly for the yearbook? So we're just gonna start tracing there. Start at the bottom. Start it. We're just gonna fill her up there. And the other one, even the bitch bro. The fucking ugly sister. I think I've gotten better at brows though. I really do. Alright, now let's take the Anastasia. Do you ever guys hear do you guys ever hear people call it Anastasia? Does it make you violent? Because it makes me violent. Nobody knows about me. I'm a loser and I live in nowhere. I'm a nobody. Blow it out your tube and blurbles. Oh my god, I'm so unprepared for this. Okay. We're gonna use brow gel. I have the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel because that's what beauty gurus told me to buy and so I did. <laughs> I'm seriously such a slave to beauty gurus guys and I'm subscribed to so many of them so like if three of them say a product is good, I'm sold. Sometimes they're hits, sometimes they're misses. Um, this one's, this one's pretty good. It's just, I expect it a little more. Like it definitely works, but I feel like it doesn't keep my brows up all day. I know that Givenchy has one that's supposed to be like amazing, but I don't have Givenchy money, so we had to stick with Anastasia here. Good old Anastasia. This, I'm using um, my, a Luxie 640, and I got this brush in a boxy shirt, I think. Ooh, it's almost smooth. Okay, so now I'm going to go over my contour again because I kind of got rid of some of it. <coughs> Oof. But, you know, whatever. Um, like, good contouring brushes tend to be, like, really compact like this, and I find that if I swipe, I feel like I'm swiping off my foundation underneath, and I just feel like it blends better when I pat it. I don't know, it just looks less muddy. That, that, that's, that's just me, though, guys. Do what you want. Next, we're gonna bronze. My favorite bronzer, personally, is the, uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like coconuts. I'm going to use another brush I got in a subscription box. I think I got this in BoxyCharm too. It's the, it's Moda Pro by Royal, 
Moda Pro by Royal and Langnickel. Um, Royal and Langnickel have been making brushes for years, but um, they were only sold like in craft stores, I believe. And then now they started this Moda Pro line that's like more affordable. I don't know, I've seen it like in Walmart and stuff lately. But this this is actually one of my favorite brushes that I own. This is the um, BMX 130 pointed brush. I love it. It's big and fluffy and it's really tapered at the end. It's perfect for bronzing. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna give it a little dip. And then <laughs> we're gonna bronze. Why, why do I live? I'm sorry I exist, guys. Next, we're gonna go in with Bletch. I'm actually gonna use my sister's brand of makeup, F-Bomb Beauty. Uh, this is a loose powder blush. It's called Kelsey Cat. She uh, made it for me for my birthday because I love peach blushes. Uh, she doesn't just make blushes though. She makes like eyeshadows and lip products and stuff with like pheromones in it. Like, And she's a lesbian, so give her a try. I'll uh, put in the description below, I'll put some links to her shit if you wanted to check it out. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna use, this is one of the brushes I got in the Morphe, either Rose Gold or Copper Collection. She's got a few strays there. I went a little crazy when I washed her one day, and so, uh, yeah, that happened. But, uh, otherwise, I love this brush. They don't have names in this collection. It's just, this is just their, you know, their brush. I actually really love this blush, though, because it makes me look like I'm tan, like, without being really fake. It just get, it gives you a little kiss. So next, or we're gonna start on the eye line. I find that eye primers are unnecessary. I feel like they were designed literally just to make you spend more money on more products. Since I am a slave to beauty gurus, as I told you already, I went ahead and I purchased this guy. You recognize her? You, you guessed it, it's the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. It's not bad, it's just I don't feel like this does anything more than concealer and translucent powder. And concealer and translucent powder you can use for other things too, so it's not just an eye primer. You're not spending money on just an eye primer, you know? But I'm gonna use it just for the sake of this video. And I don't have a brush to apply this with, like, so I just gotta use my finger. Ow! Fucker! <sighs> just poke my own eye. Alright. Now our eyelids look nice and jaundiced. So today we're going to be doing a makeup look with my beautiful and favorite eyeshadow palette of all times. My Huda Beauty palette. I have both of her palettes. I love Huda Beauty. I feel like she understands my aesthetic to a T. She's just gorgeous. Like look at her. Look at her. Um, there's been a lot of mixed reviews online about this palette because a lot of people have an attitude about Huda Beauty because she, a lot of her like these duochrome shades and stuff. You, you can't get them on a brush. You have to use your fingers for them, which I wouldn't use a brush on those anyways. I would use them to apply with my finger anyways. I don't understand why that's such a big fucking problem. They're gorgeous. Look at them. Just use a finger. It's not like it's some stranger's butthole finger. Like, it's your own fucking finger. Get over it. I'm actually going to go into a palette, a different palette, only because, um, I, you know, I like to use an all-over cream color to set the eye primer. And this one is actually a little too dark for me. It actually just, it makes my eyelids look really, like, yellow. So I'm actually going to go into another palette I got in a, well, not another palette, but another product I got in a subscription box. This also came in a boxy charm. This is the uh, Pure palette. I don't know what this word is, so I'm not going to try it. And that's what she looks like. And let me tell you something. I use this palette almost every day. It might look like kind of boring, but it's like it's so pr it's so everyday. It pairs so well with other things. I just I love her. And they got they got warm tones and they got cool tones. It's just it's it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna go into the shade Mogul to set my eye primer, and I'm using um, an It Cosmetics brush. This is dual ended brush. It doesn't have a name other than all over shadow and crease brush. Like there's no number to it. And I'm obviously using the uh, all over shadow brush. So now we're gonna go back to the Huda Beauty. And first we are going to dip into the shade Eden. It's that peachy color right here. And I'm gonna be using a Japanese brush for this. I actually, I really like these brushes. They're they're like really synthetic -y though, so they'll they'll dig in your eyeshadows, just so you know. But I still like it because they're, they're fluffy, fluffy little crease brushes. Um, it's kind of, they're kind of um, messed up now because I, I tried to wash them one time and uh, they kind of like fluffed out, like poofed out a little bit. Now it kind of looks like a, like a bee's ass. I get a little bit, um, I, I overdo it when I, when I wash my brushes a little bit. I kind of like dig it into the fucking thing that I use. So that's my fault. I guess I don't know my own strength. 
Now we're going to buff that into the crease. Uh, we are going to, I want to bring that up quite high because this is going to be, you know, we're going to layer different shadows on top of it. We want her to peek through a little bit. So it's going to be almost to the eyebrow, well, almost to the arch of the eyebrow. It's definitely going to touch this part and this part of my eyebrow, but yeah, no. Now we're going to go back to that same It Cosmetics brush, but we're going to use the crease brush side. And I'm going to go into the shade uh, Blazing. And these Huda Beauty palettes, by the way, are $65, but I don't care. Like, I use these palettes every day. And the reason why I'm saying palettes is because she has two. She also has her uh, Rose Gold palette, which this is also gorgeous. I love her color schemes. I love them. And I use her palettes literally every day. And we're going to put this in the crease too, but we're not going to put it as high up as we put the Eden shade. Because again, we want Eden to peek through a little bit, and we'll probably go over her again at the end. Okay, so then next, I'm going to use just one of my, another one of my Morphe brushes from the Rose Gold or Copper collection. I don't know which one it is. And I'm going to use this to dip into the color Saffron. And then we're going to keep this one even closer, further down in the crease, I should say, to give it a nice gradient effect. I don't plan on doing videos on my laptop forever. Um, I do want to save up for a camera, but it's taken me a long time because the camera that I the camera that I want is actually like seven hundred or eight dollars, and then the microphone I have to buy for that is like another hundred dollars. So I'm gonna be spending a pretty penny coming up pretty soon here. So it's gonna take me a while to save up, and I didn't want to wait. Next, we're gonna go last time in the crease. This is with um this came in the trio that I showed you earlier, the Moda Pro. Um, came in a boxy chair. Uh, this is the BMX 430 crease brush. This is like one of my favorite crease brushes. It's super tapered, so it's really good to get like right in that fucking crevice. And I'm going to use this in the shade out. We're just going to put that only like just right, right in the, right in the crease. Right in the crease. Because this is really more so just to, uh, give a little bit of depth rather than to show her colors. Well, her colors are showing actually. <laughs> I dig that man. And now I'm gonna go back to the first brush that I used, the Japanese brush, and I'm gonna take a little bit more of Eden, and I'm just gonna go back in, and I'm gonna use that to uh, soften up any of the harsh lines that I may have made. I know that like a lot of people do their eyeshadow before their face makeup, like I know that's what you're supposed to do. I just can't. I can't. I need to have a blank ca canvas to like make colorful things with. I can't do it on my blotchy ass skin. It, it just fucks me up. So now that we've done that, we are going to, let's see, where are we going with her today? We are going to take a, this is another brush from the Morphe collection. It's, it's not really a crease brush. It's like, you know, eh, it's flat. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to dip into, you know, we're going to go balls to the wall today, guys. Why not? It's my first vid. Let's make a splash. We're going to use the amethyst shade here. And I'm going to take that, pack that on my brush, and I'm going to put that on the outer two-thirds of my eye. Well, the outer third and the inner third. This is just how I do things. I don't profess to be a professional at anything. Yeah, see, that one's got some fallout. That one's leaving some fallout on my face there. But that's to be expected. I'm packing a fucking pigmented color on my lid. Don't come for her. Don't come for Hootie. Hootie? Hootie and the Blowfish? Hooda. <laughs> I'm gonna try to squeeze you guys closer. Okay, so that's that's how she looks right now. Okay, so now for the inner part, the inner third of my eye, we are going to use, let me see, we're gonna use the shade uh, Cashmere here with our finger. We're not no bougie bitches. We're just going to pack that on the inner third. And then rather than swiping, once I get to where the purple starts, I'm going to pat. Because that helps get rid of that harsh line that would be created there. Try to make it look nice and seamless. Now we're going to go to the lower latch line. And we're going to use... Fuck it. We're going to go back. I'm going to use that brush that I used to pack on the amethyst shade. I'm going to use that in the Eden shade, the shade that I used first. This peachy color. And I'm just going to start dusting her on. Okay, now we're going to take another Morphe brush from that collection. This is just their pencil brush, and I'm going to use that in the amethyst shade, and I'm only going to bring that about halfway in. God, it looks like shit on this camera. Why? Okay, well, anyways, um, I don't ever use eyeliner, like, on the top lid anymore, 
And I'm not like a sick bitch who just puts it in the water line and looks like a fucking dog, but I am like disabled when it comes to putting eyeliner on my tablet. Like I can't, I can't make a straight line. I like start shaking. And I've been doing my makeup since I was in sixth grade, guys. That's like, that was like 12 years ago. And that includes eyeliner. Like I just never got good at it. I don't know what the fuck is on my neck. So what I am going to do though is I'm going to tight line, which if you don't know what that means, I'm just going to draw on like the water line of my upper lid. So like underneath my eyelashes just gives kind of more of a lined eye look and it makes your lashes look thicker. We're going to use Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof. Is there like shit on my webcam? Because I feel like it was clear before. Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Deep Burgundy. My eyes are already watering so bad. Fuck. And then I think I'm also going to use her in my waterline. Um, and to kind of like even things out, I'm going to put a little bit on my top lid. I'm just going to do like the outer, like the outer third. See this? That looks kind of garbagey, but that's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so next we're gonna do latches. Now, I don't ever wear fake lashes. I just find that they're kind of a hassle for me and they're kind of just not necessary. <sighs> I use the uh, Voluminous Latch Paradise by L'Oreal, I believe. This this is the shit and this is only like $7.99. This is my dried out one. Where's my good one? I think this one's dried out too, but whatever. I know I'm so prepared and I'm so good at making quality videos, guys. You don't have to tell me. I'm also not going to do any lip stuff in this video because that is another area that I really am poor in. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, why are you making a makeup video, Kelsey? You don't know how to do shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't really have a defense to that, to be honest with you. <sighs> okay, wow. Guys, I'm like fucking this up. I just like... There was like a bunch of product gooped onto the end of it and I started to, and now it's like black and smudgy. And I'm going to try to make this side look shitty as well. Doesn't help that I don't have contacts in either. What are you going to do guys? Listen. <laughs> We're going to wait for her to dry so I can crack her off. And last but not least, well actually second to last. If you are somebody who struggles to find a highlighter that looks good on pale skin. If you feel like every time you wear highlighter, you see a, just a box of pigment on each side of your face, I found something for you. Now, this is something that's been on a lot of beauty channels, so I'm sure you've heard of it if you watch beauty videos. The Sleek Solstice Palette. I know when you first look at it, you're like, those colors are weird and I don't like them. I thought the same thing, but they don't translate as pigmented on your face. This is the only highlighter I've ever used that does not make it look like I have a bar of shit across each cheek. So for this, I'm gonna use this brush from Morphe. It's their like, it's like a big, bigger crease looking brush. Um, let's go ahead and use the Poiple. Oh, look at her. And this palette is um, only $14.99. And this brand was only sold in the UK, I believe, for a long time, but I saw it at Ulta the other day and I was just like, what? Bitch, fuck me up. Hey, well, I wanna highlight my nose, but I need to get this. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I didn't wait long enough, but I'll just, you know, it's still there a little bit, but that's okay. Again, I'm not going anywhere. Ooh, bitch. Yeah, I have a lot of liquid lipsticks. That's something I get a lot in subscription boxes, but I don't really use them because I'm not very good at lip stuff. And my lips are always so dry because I'm on a lot of medication that gives me cotton mouth. Plus, I don't really drink that much to begin with, so I'm always dehydrated, but um, I do love the sound, though. Like, that one doesn't do it very good. You know what does it really good is the shape tape. Let me bring her, let me bring her back for her moment. Ugh. Did you hear that? Let's do it again. Ugh. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Okay, so the last thing that you do is set the fees. And I'm going to use, this is my favorite setting spray. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, right? This one just not only locks your makeup in place, but it also, like, if you're somebody who has a lot of trouble with getting makeup to look like it's your skin, and it just looks like a bunch of powder and creams and shit on top of your skin, this really helps it melt into your skin more. Ooh, she moist. 
Now we just wait for her to dry. But aside from that, guys, this is the finished look. Because this camera doesn't really pick up, like, how intense it is. But it's just going to trust me on this one, guys. That is the finished look. Alright, guys, so if you liked that video, if you like me, by the grace of God, feel free to subscribe. It would really make my day. My goal is to get one subscriber from this, to get one like from this, <laughs> one comment. But yeah, that's that's all for today. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, looking looking for a looking for a crowd of people to come and play with me. But I don't like how that sounded. I don't know, <sighs> guys. I just I want to do YouTube. I want to try this out. I want I really want to take it all the way if I can. And no obligation, obviously. I can't force you to subscribe to me. I can't force you to like me. But I feel like you got to know me a little bit more in this video. I'm probably gonna do one with Nicole next, and it's probably gonna be one that's more like energized, one that's less sitting down and chill. I don't know how often I'm going to post because right now I'm really just kicking things off. I want to have gotten one done so that I just, I at least I have it started. Yeah, I will eventually be able to sustain a routine with video posting. I'm going to try to be as diligent as I can. It's a little bit hard when you still have a full-time job and you're trying to do this, but I am going to try my best. So thank you so much for watching if you watched. I really appreciate it. I really do. Really, I do. So, I'll see you in the next one.